Hey everybody, Blind Modeler is back to do a new upgrade detailing project. And uh, what we have here is a DTNI GP38 dynamic brake locomotive number 204. So looking at pictures of number 204, some of the things about locomotive number 204 is that it has the super non-lifting spark arresters on each side of the dynamic brake fan um, and one notable thing about it is it has a low nose headlight and if and basically a blanked out headlight on the cab so th those are going to be some of the details I'm going to alter change and add on this locomotive so that involves filing and drilling out a couple of holes on the front nose and I'm going to just add styrene um, to blank out the front headlight uh, after filing it flat. And then I'm going to add uh, cab sunshade from A-Line on, on the uh, conductor side. And then also adding those super non-lifting spark arresters from Details West. I believe Detail Associates which I've heard they're out of business now, also has a plastic part, so either one of those could go pretty well with this. Um, as you see here, I have Detail Associates pile headlight, cab, all-weather cab window, and the A-line sunshades here. There we go, here's the parts. So, um, the locomotive I got basically, it was just somebody was selling it used and I got it at a cheap price. So it's lacking some of those details to make it more prototypical looking. And that's what this is about is just simply taking a locomotive, something basic, doing a few changes to it. And these changes are probably something that can all be done in an evening. Um, what I'm going to do with the locomotive is I'm gonna tape off the front nose and file it flat and the masking tape is going to be used to prevent a slipping of the file and marring up the any other parts of the cab except the front of the nose. Um, I'm going to add LED lighting to light up the front headlight and then as I said I'm going to file flat the headlight above the cab and add a styrene blank cover on it and then uh, I used to have some of the BLMA blank headlights. I lost the parts in my move to my new home. And uh, so I'm just gonna go with styrene, like 0 .005 to show the blank. Um, basically these Atlas dynamic, uh, these exhaust stacks, I think they're, they pop off and so it's going to be easily to, easy to pop these off and then drill a hole in it for the details west part. I don't have the part here, so I'm still waiting for it to be delivered. So anyway, um, I will be back in just a moment uh, to show the parts added and then continue on with this project. Here's progress on the DTNI GP38. So far, I got the spark arresters installed. Got the all-weather window in place on the engineer side. I uh, added the two grab irons on each side of the sand filler. That's a DT&I staple, I like to call it. Um, I removed the air horn, and I'm waiting for the M3 to show up because that's going to be placed on top. And then I'm also going to add the uh, Western Cullen Beacon, that's a Detail Associates part. Um, another thing I'd like to say about that is uh, the later versions of this Jeep 38, I found pictures on the Fallen Flags website, shows the beacon um, on this locomotive. But if, you're, um, if you see the uh, model with the black number boards, it appeared to not have a beacon on it. So there's the front headlight in the nose, uh, the plated over front headlight above the cab. 
um, added the white number board backgrounds in preparation for the uh, proper numbers and the sunshade and then also on the rear end the white number board uh, backgrounds so progress is coming along pretty steadily and uh, stay tuned for more updates All right, so, so far the progress on the locomotive. And you have the spark arresters attached on the roof. I added the all weather window on the engineer side. And then to flip this around. Added the sunshade, I used it details associates part just it was easy to glue on and then then the front headlight which here we go and a couple more uh, details I'd like to add is the of course the DT and I double grab irons on each side of the sand filler hatch so that'll come next and I should mention when I, I looked up, uh, did a little research on these locomotives that I think DT and I had about 10 of these with dynamic brakes. And this one was the unique one that I saw that only had the low nose headlight. So that's why I opted to go with this one. I'm also going to, well, I haven't added the blank cover on the headlight above the cab just yet. And the other thing I'm thinking about doing is Re, uh, renumbering it from the black number boards and white numbers to the white number boards with the black numbers on it. So that's probably going to, I'll use shell scale decals for that. So that's the pros, pros, bleh. that's my progress so far. So I'm back with continued progress update on my dt and GP38 project. So I want to start with the rear end here and move forward. Added white number board decals with the black numbers for 204. Touched up the paint on the spark arresters on the roof. I've popped out the all weather cab window and some of the other windows as I plan to dull coat this and get it prepped for weathering. Touched up the nose headlight and the panel between the number boards on the cab. White number board decals on the cab. Those are shell scale. I added a beacon. Is the beacon is proper for this locomotive with white number board decals. If you continued using the black number boards as is, then you wouldn't need the beacon. So I should just point that out. And then touched up the cab sunshade on this side. So this lo locomotive's coming along pretty well. Um, I want to mention that the paint Atlas seems to have used on their locomotive closely matches the Floquil Southern Pacific Daylight Red. Well, since Floquil is no longer in business, thank you testers, they, there is a list that has been made by and posted on microscale.com and I was able to find a Vallejo paint to use to touch up the parts so this came out to be a really good match for this locomotive and I'm quite pleased with it and if there's any slight color variation uh, I'm, I'm gonna use it as also a wash to kind of help blend it in and then I'm going to weather this locomotive. If you look at the DTNI modelers page and then fall in flags and then just look up pictures at railroad.net, you can see that DTNI, um, as far as cosmetic maintenance, uh, these locomotives look like they were beat up. So um, I'm going to go ahead and weather it to represent one of those types of locomotives. 
I like that one on the back track there. Um, so, anyhow, I will, once I dull coat the locomotive and then I get my M3 air horn, I will add the dome onto the beacon and wire in the LED um, to the decoder and have this pretty much all set and ready to go in no time. So it should be another day or two for the horns to come in and uh, I'll be patiently waiting for those. Not. So stay tuned for another progress video coming up soon. Okay guys, here's my final progress update on the DTNI GP38, the Atlas model that I've up recently upgraded and uh, by just adding a few detail parts and installing uh, an ESU low sound, a non-turbo sound file in it and installing the correct lights and the nose headlight as you can see it's lit here you got the rotary beacon flashing so there you have it um, I'll fire it up take a listen and that's there you have it it's that's pretty much it still have to adjust for the horn the correct horn I didn't get my M3 horn in today so it's going to be without a horn for a little bit until it comes in probably later at the end of this week I just flipped on the lights really quick here so um, I began some of the weathering on this to give you some idea um, again using some of the life color paints and I'm going to use some pan pastels to finish off the weathering and uh, I'm going to add the couplers and finally button this thing all the way up so there you have it everybody um, hope you enjoyed uh, just watching the progress on this locomotive becoming a little bit more accurate. More representative of what DT and I used to have, so. Well, anybody, everybody, fly modeler out. Take care. Have a great night. Comment. Give me a message. Uh, all that fun stuff that everybody asks you to do on YouTube. Anyway, fly modeler out. Catch everybody on the flip side. Bye.